Now let's do a clock choke. So a wonderful choke. You should have it in your game. It's like a you know like a bow and arrow from the turtle. So first run it on the shirt. So there's many many versions of it. So and uh, we're gonna show the head on the mat version right now. So he gets the choke, gets the arm in. You can actually grab here, grab the arm inside, and now uh, he goes. And very very good choke. So and uh, the choke is gone when I have a good position. So uh, just to the chokes you later happen. They happen during transitions. It's very hard to attack that position with the choke. Just get the arm and then choke. You have to attack the chokes during transitions, and that's the great skills um, that you have to train from white belts and do the, the black belt, and this has to work. So if the position is bad, you will just get the choke and go. But you never actually understand the window of the choke. Like, you know, throwing the jab is the same thing. It's not like I throw a jab, you have to throw a jab on a moving opponent. And uh, so if your disposition is good, you will start to attack the choke during transitions, when they go to the turtle, or when they get out the turtle. And that makes your timing window like better. So good defense actually it shows how the attacks should work. So we do the choke, clock choke again. So first of all, use the boxing shoulder, and uh, he he sees like there's there's no chin. So even I don't have to do anything with the arms. Go. And even if he even if he gets the gets the clock, but it's not like this. And then it's kind of like a neck crankish. I really put my like a ear to my shoulder and like I throw a punch and I hide my chin. It's like a, for me, boxing and jiu-jitsu and there's a lot of similarities. And I use a lot of boxing examples like you've seen during those DVDs that I explain jiu-jitsu through that. It just makes more sense to do it as a sport and just ideas that, that people get more through stand-up than just if I explain it through jiu-jitsu. And what they actually need for clock choke is that arm. They need that inside space. So if uh, the, now you see he's gonna look for that inside space, it's kind of gone. So if he even gets the choke, hold on. And if the if he can't go, put the arm inside here or inside the legs, and it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to choke. And one more one more thing is like I'm tilted towards him. So even if I'm like I wanna do a really really late choke escape, why not? Then I, it's easy to turn. Because he wants actually my face like ideally other way around. So if he gets a choke, and if he goes for a choke, then this and this uh, choke works even better if I just look away. But if I look towards him, so it, it also makes you know, rolling compensating a little bit. You know, even avoiding everything, it's easier. So definitely boxing boxing shoulder. Uh, then you can grab their wrist definitely if you're looking for uh, you know stuff you can grab their gi, you can grab their fingers like we did but just avoiding everything and usually people let go and in that moment it's also very very let's say easier to pull guard so if he gets the joke yeah and now I just go and I go so uh, those moments are kind of good you can develop some sweeps from there you can grab the, the sleeves but the clock choke is not the problem anymore because the angle is all wrong. And uh, this is, I'm not saying shocked many people, but most people are afraid of clock choke. And, but this kind of, the posture cancels it right, cancels it right away. So, so you don't have to worry about it. And uh, I'm not saying clock choke doesn't work, it's a, it's a bad technique. It's just the setup is wrong. So I'm really like a big uh, on those setups. If the structure is correct, then techniques still work, you know, back takes and harnesses, but the setup has to be better. If the you know turtle is broken, then you don't see a lot of setups in uh, jiu-jitsu. In wrestling, what you see is also no, there's no single leg without the let's say the pull. Everybody, or if it's a uh, double leg, everybody usually snaps first. They stretch and double leg. Boxing, we do always setups before we do a main punch. So in jiu-jitsu, it's rarely taught like that. It's usually like, okay, he's in turtle, I get a clock choke. So I think the setup part is really weird in Jiu-Jitsu and I'm trying to fix that. I haven't learned Jiu-Jitsu like this myself, but I think we need to do something about it. That because the setups are not correct when the defense is good. So, but yeah, clock choke, don't worry about it, keep it and you'll be fine and, uh, and we move on with the now.